want to respectfully urge all of us to rise for a one minute silence in the memory of our beloved Congo. May his soul continue to rest in power and may his blood water the tree of our collective freedom. Luther. Victoria. It is unbelievable that the university failed to make any connection between this and the information of an incident at the last two Iba gates, which the police reportedly had transmitted to the SIEU on the morning of Thursday. It will seem, going by the conduct of the university management, that gunshot wound is a common is a commonplace injury. We should not raise any eyebrows. That were it not for his invitation by the last management to a disparate panel over a phantom case of Abishon Raketiani, which was instituted against him since 2019, our mm -hmm. man would have had no reason to be on the campus that day and therefore would not have been in the place and at the time he met his untimely end. These facts cannot be overlooked. The Professor Fagbon led administration was able to impose this dubious and anti poor policy by bacchanizing the admission process into Sri One Stream 2, whereby Sri One pays about 54,000 naira, while Stream 2 pays about 50,000 naira, even though both groups of students use the same facilities and are taught by the same staff. These were the kind of policies on where was spent the four years of his stay on Lasso campus to oppose on behalf of the students of that campus. The management force showed a taste of how far it was ready to go in punishing Omewa when in February 2019, it moved might and main to ensure it never emerged as president of the student union, even though all evidences pointed to the fact that Omewa won the most votes. Yes. Thereafter, in October of the same year, the management, using the Department of State Security, DSS, planted evidence on Omewa in order to ensnare him in a phantom case of admission of Since 2019, when the panel has been sitting, rather perfunctorily, the case of admission of was simply a gimmick to hold on to Omewa's advocates for as long as it would take. This is why we say that the invitation of Omewa by the management of the Lagos State University to appear before the panel, the day was killed, raises a whole lot of suspicion and therefore must not be overlooked by the police. In our opinion, this goes to show how the police and the states continue to fail on men while in debt. This is not surprising given that Nigeria is already in an advancing stage of a failed state, going by the regression of the of human life and the rapid insecurity across the length and breadth of the country. It is very clear that the police, far from protecting the masses, are actually not more than an instrument of class oppression. What obtains right now under the non-residential campus policy of the Lagos State University? Number six, we demand an independent and democratic pro panel of public inquiry comprising the letter representative of Lasusu, NANS, ASU, NASU, SANU, NARD, the Lagos NMA, NBA, ERC, Lagos NFC, NUG, NUJ, CSO, JAF, SPN, and all others. Momewa is unbridled. His level of humility, humbleness and dependability knows no bound. Omamewa is rebellious to injustice, whether to students, to <coughs> workers, to bodies. We are going to shut down Lagos if Mr. Governor ceases to meet up to our demand that I have earlier stated, which first of it is to open up a panel of inquiry on how Momewa was unjustly indicted 
and malicious case. He had no link with. Unfortunately, the last um, engagement with the deceased, I, I'm even finding it very difficult to address him like that, uh, was a political symposium that was organized by NAS JCC. And in that symposium, one of the things that we raised, um, that we, because we looked at the old issues, we diagnosed them very well. And then we found out that there is a need to create a campaign, start a campaign um, against victimization of student activists. I want to totally align with the demands of, um, from the press conference and um, the last speaker with any other demand that may even come in the line of the old um, probe that would happen in the course of this um, old situation. But while I'm saying this, we must also understand the roots of all of these problems. In 2018, there's a witness here. I and Sonia Lujumo, we will be abducted by the DSS at Galaxy TV. And one of the things they said that day, so they used students, activists, quote and unquote, to frame up, to do the whole abduction. And these student activists in Lagos were saying, they were saying it open to us. And they said, the Lagos state government is saying they left that they are allowing the left too much. This Lagos State government is telling the students' union leaders that they are allowing the leftists to operate too much in Lagos. And so what they did to us that day was that it was at Galaxy TV. The man came, he, he behaved like as if he was with us. And at the end of the day, we were abducted, driven down to Alausa. It was during a protest, the Occupy Lagos State House of Assembly protest, when they were um, celebrating their nonsense, Lagos at 50. <laughs> you see, we must understand all of this in the context of all of these attacks, that they are all connected. As someone who has been under victimization for the past five years, myself, at the University of Lagos, I can tell you how these people operate, and they are not backing down. That is why if we sit, I'm, I'm saying this because I've, I've aligned already with the demands, there's no need to repeat everything that's been said. If we sit down, if we relax on this issue, these guys will come for us one after the other. They, they, they will come for us one after the other. If we do not bond at this time to fight and using this as a, um, as, as a spark to bring up all these issues, is the fact that there is no independence, there is no union today, student union in Nigeria that you can point at and say this is an independent student union. Look at how these unions even emerge. Or how, look at how the leaders even emerge. Many of them, they, because as a student leader, before you can even contest, you have to go to what, through what they call security screening. That security screening, you have to go to the DSS. The DSS will be the one to screen the student leader. These are issues to the point that they even strip them naked. They strip them naked to check if they have any mark of anything. And at the end of the day, if you, if you are one, one person who will give the state a problem, you will be rigged out one way or the other, and they will look for, they will hang on you security issue. This is going to be the spark. Because on at that particular symposium, we made it very clear that a committee will be set up on these issues, not knowing that it will not be part of the whole thing. That is the unfortunate thing here. Seriously, which I, I'm still finding very difficult to, to, to understand or to take in. So comrades, I do not want us to discuss everything here and while we leave the four corners of this place, we forget about this thing. Because if we do, if we do not bond this time, we will, we will perish separately. Let me put it that way. We will what? Perish separately. It is to this end that I express the heartfelt condolence to the family. We cannot express it, you know, better than this. We, we do not know how to say it. And we pray the Almighty will give the family the fortitude, you know, to bear this loss. Thank you very much.